Okay, so the idea is to create a directed energy weapon using the power of the sun. So uh, the, the way I came up with this idea is if you could uh, take something, uh, you know, like an inverse telescope and use that to focus the, the, uh, the sun's radiation from a large area to a smaller area, then the power density goes up and is capable of burning things. And uh, it would also travel in a straight line because the rays coming in would, would be parallel and the rays going out would be parallel. Now if we compare, for instance, uh, incoherent radiation from the sun or other, other sources to like a laser, laser has three properties that are different than, well, for instance, a light bulb. Laser is coherent, which means that it's, uh, all the wave fronts are in phase. It's monochromatic, it's a single color, and it, it travels in a straight line, it's directional. Now, light from a normal light bulb is not like that. It's uh, incoherent, it goes in all directions, and you couldn't focus it in a telescope. And it's also all different colors. Now, if we, we look at the light from the sun, this is very interesting because the sun actually is traveling in a straight line because it, it has traveled so far to get here that uh, it's com coming basically from a point source and so it's traveling in a straight line so we can use that inside of a telescope to uh, focus it down and create a, a nice directional beam even though it's got a bunch of different frequencies that aren't coherent and the, ni uh, the other nice thing about uh, the solar uh, <coughs> solar radiation is it's almost a hundred percent efficient where if you look at normal lasers lasers are uh, typically five ten percent efficient maybe and you need a huge power source to power them so the sun uh, solar power directed energy weapon would be something that you could shoot down satellites or uh, zap other things with you get a mirror to steer it you'd have to have something to track it but it seems like a very interesting idea, and so here's some experiments that we're going to look at to see if we can build our own so solar power directed energy weapon. Okay, today we're going to talk about how to build a solar powered directed energy weapon using an inverse telescope or some giant Fresnel lenses. And why in the front yard? Oh, uh, because that's where I have the sun. Sun's coming down. Okay. Actually, what I want you to do, so we have here we have uh, our big lens. And we're going to try to focus it down through a projector and bend the rays. We'll take all this energy from this huge area and squash it down into a small area, and we'll try to aim at a target. See if we can blast our target with our solar powered directed energy weapon. Okay. What is it supposed to make a rainbow? Uh, it will focus the light, hopefully. Okay, so hold it right there in front of the lens, and we will see if we can focus all this light. Oh, so you're going, you're going to set me on fire? Is that where you're going to? Is it going through the lens? Hold it down in front of the lens. Oh yeah, the wind. I control the wind. So Hold I can it with both hands. Make the wind not blow. Okay. Is it coming through? So you are trying to burn me. Okay, go back, bring it back further that way, okay? Wait, wait, no, no, stop, stop, right where you were. Okay, there. Okay. Sarah, come on, can you put it in the beam? Try to Try to keep it in the beam. Right there, there. There's the beam. Okay. 
Okay, I guess we ran out of sun. Okay, so now I'll take the big lens, try to focus it down into. Actually, that leg is in the way, isn't it? Can you put the paper above the little lens like we did a little second ago? Okay, just hold it there. We'll get the big lens focused down upon it. Okay, can you take it away? We'll see if we can get it through the front of it. Okay. We're having some kind of issue. The thing catching stuff on fire inside of there. Oh. Well, that's cool. It's catching on fire on the inside. It's smoking. I think it's that black thing in there. It even smells. Okay, I may have to take that black thing out of it. Our front lens is catching on fire here. I'll say. Okay, so I guess we'll work on that and uh, we'll take that black uh, aperture out of it. This thing stuff. I don't think they'll fill the smoke now. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're getting all smoke inside of there. I think it's due to this black aperture in there. We'll see if we can take that out of there.